history. It's a treasure trove of much more than memories. For many, it holds the key to their cancer risk. About 15% of colorectal cancer is genetically inheritable. Um, and a smaller subset of that, what we call Lynch syndrome or HNPCC, colon cancer. A simple blood test can tell whether you carry the gene. With no outward symptoms, Lynch syndrome is passed down the family tree. 50% of each person's children have it, so it's inherited at a rate of 50%. If you have this defective gene, your chances of getting colon cancer go up to almost 80%. Lynch syndrome also strikes early, lowering the average age of diagnosis from 65 to 45. Locally, cancer experts are helping people play detective. When we know that a patient is a possible risk for Lynch syndrome, we have them meet with our genetic counselor and she does a complete family profile, identifies members in the family who maybe have died from other uh, cancers. Lynch is responsible for not only colon cancer, but 12 different types of cancer, including bladder, kidney, uterine, and endometrial. It's prompted local surgeons to create an action plan. Every single colon tumor is going to be tested if it is removed in someone who is age 60 or younger. They're going to test every single one and they will let people know through the genetics counselors whether they tested positive for this syndrome and then they'll help them contact their family. Knowledge that gives patients a chance to be proactive. A handful of families are now being monitored in a local registry. Some of the patients have had to have surgeries because they have developed colon cancers and we have had some patients, the female patients, who've elected to have hysterectomies. Blessing or curse, following the link may unearth a family secret. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.